Hi, I'm Jeff Ewan. I'm an irrigation and dryland producer from Riverhurst, Saskatchewan. Born and raised here on a fourth generation family farm. So under irrigation, we have a four crop rotation. Uh, dry edible beans is our predominant crop that we rotate around. But after edible beans, we grow flax, uh, canola, and then uh, durum wheat. Our irrigation water source is Lake Diefenbaker and uh, we run on a pressurized pump system. Typical irrigation pivot on a quarter section is approximately 130 acres. They're about 90% efficient on water use and energy efficient compared to the old systems of wheel moves or, or uh, high pressure systems that of the day. Typically, uh, depending on the crop, we're going to be irrigating this year somewhere in the range of 7 to 12 inches of irrigation and on a daily basis I'm out in the field checking those fields, probing the soil to see where the profile is at. So on a typical year under irrigation we'll see anywhere from 30 to 50 percent bump in yield. Uh, obviously that has to do with the agronomy and the type of, type of conditions that were presented in a year between heat and, and uh, length of the season. Without irrigation honestly our crop would be struggling big time uh, because most of our farm is dry land production, I can definitely see the difference. It's been a, a massive difference and I'm going to estimate that we'll probably be more over the 50% increase in production because of the irrigation. You know, we, we start watering in May and, and that passes on right in through to August and, and that's where we get to anywhere from 7 to 12 inches of irrigation. So the recently announced irrigation project uh, that the uh, Saskatchewan government has proposed is, is really exciting news as a producer to hear that there's going to be expanding irrigation. I think it'll really help at the local level with the small towns that will be involved. Uh, brings in a lot more labor and uh, we'll see definitely a different crop mix and a different frame of mind uh, and it'll be good for everybody. The province of Saskatchewan obviously has been known for agriculture since, since it was founded and uh, the practices have definitely changed but I think you know, it's all been for the better. The genetics that we produce at our universities and, and at uh, different breeding agencies is tremendous. We're seeing increasing yield and irrigation is only a piece of that that continues to push the envelope and increase food production. We know that the world is hungry for our food and our fuel and our fiber and, and we just want to do our best to produce the most healthy and, and uh, highest quality product that we can.